Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Divine Empress. I come to do our daily messages and I've decided, you know, um, sometimes these daily messages can go a little deep and I, you know, spirit was, I was like, well, I just don't want to be on there long when it comes to the daily messages, but you know what? Um, why not? If they go long, if they go, uh, over 15 minutes, that's fine because it's messages and I've been led by, um, spirit to definitely slow down in my talking and so I can be a little clear, a little clearer so I can get more messages. So let's see what the daily messages have to say today. I'm, and um, I decided to do, it's not really different. I just want to try to get some more intuitive messages because, um, yeah, that's why I was led to slow down in my talking and just pay attention to the messages that I'm getting because it could be seem a little redundant. So let's see what's going on with the daily messages. So right now I'm getting some, I'm not really intuitive messages. I'm shuffling and I'm trying to pick up on the energy that I see while I'm shuffling. You know, one card I keep seeing is the wounded warrior card. So somebody is very insecure. Somebody is wounded from something that a conflict that has happened and you're healing. Okay. Um, you're a little stressed out. You cut some things out of your life. Something came to an end. Some things are ending. A lot of things are ending. Okay. Spirit is asking you to definitely get some rest. Um, you do have success though. All right. You do have success. You have a major decision that you need to make. It's in, in regards to investing in something that's going to be long-term. Okay. It's new beginnings and, you know, um, new beginnings can be anything in love. It can be in, um, you know, your place of residence. Okay. It could be a job. It could be pretty much anything. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So you will have some celebrations. You will... Whatever this situation is, you will come out on top, and that's for sure, okay? Spirit wants you to definitely take the necessary healing. Take the necessary time to heal so you can move forward faster, okay? The longer you stay in that past energy, is the, the longer you kind of sort of hinder your growth um, to go forward. So let's see what's going on here. Spirit, what else? Remain positive. Spirit is saying connect with nature. You need to connect with nature. It's time to go outside and connect with nature. So let's see what the, the angel cards are saying. Okay, the angel messages. Spirit, give me a few of them angel messages. And like I said, if it goes far, that's fine. Spirit wants you to stand your ground. Okay. Spirit, if you if you haven't faced this mountain, it's a mountain here. Okay. Mountains, mountains are here so they can teach you as well. Because you don't see everything. You, you just... You don't see everything. You you just see one side of the mountain, but you got it's it's two sides of a mountain. So what you need to do is stay in your ground. It doesn't matter. Hmm. It doesn't matter who feet you step on. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life or who you need to speak up to. Stand your ground. You have to stand your ground now, and you have to stay firm. If you don't stay firm. This is, it's not going to work out the way you want this to work out. Okay. Maybe you've been, um, not standing your ground in regards because you're worried about what someone is going to say, or you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's not what spirit wants for you. Spirit wants you to stand your ground. When you stand your ground, that means you need to speak up. Okay. Stand firm on your beliefs right now. Stand firm on your values. Do not deviate from what you have going on. Um, do not deviate from your spiritual practices. Spirit wants you to stay firm, okay? You got the shaman. They want you to trust in higher forces, okay? Seems a little cliche, doesn't it? Nope. They want you to trust in higher forces because spirit is with you. And they want you to trust and know and use your wisdom. 
that you have used in the past. So you can go ahead and um, apply that to your life now as you go through certain changes or go through things that you're going through. Now, let me be honest. Some of these messages are, um, when I do these daily messages, I take it personal. Okay, not just one, all of them. Even though I don't have a twin flame, I still take them personal. Okay, just want to let you all know this is not just, I'm not one of those, people who do readings and be like, oh, this is for you and you on it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So spirit wants you to use your wisdom. Trust in your, trust in your beliefs, trust in, trust, trust in what you have built up for yourself as far as spiritual, spiritual wise, trust that you are making the right decisions and trust, trust that the, uh, your, the higher forces are at work in your life right now. Oh yeah. So that's why they want you to stand your ground. Trust in the high force in the higher forces. That's why they want you to connect with nature. Use your wisdom and don't back down. Okay. Let's get a few more. But within anything that you're doing, they want you to still be peaceful. You might, you might, some, you know, sometimes you can get frustrated. Don't get frustrated to the point the way your movements and your, and your actions become abrasive. Okay. When I want abrasive action, don't put abrasive actions with any of these situations that you're going through. Okay. What else? Spirit. Be graceful in your movements. Be gentle. <laughs> like. And I think this this is a part of this is a part of one of the messages that came to me in reference to when I'm when I'm speaking. So just I, I gotta take it a little slower so I can get the messages that I need. Spirit, give me what I need. Give me a few more. Okay. All right. Be brave and honest. So what this is telling me is that you need to trust and have higher forces right now and be graceful in your movements. And pay attention to what spirit is giving you because you're getting some downloads. But they want you to trust and stand your ground. And when you're doing this, you got to be brave and honest. No matter what you're doing, no matter who it is that you're speaking to, it doesn't matter if you think this person is better than you. And I hope you don't think that because there's no one out here that's better, better, better than you. Spirit wants you to pretty much be brave and honest. Stand your ground. Be brave. Be honest. But just be graceful in your movements and how you speak and trust in higher forces. Use your wisdom. Let wisdom guide you during this time as well. Okay. All right. So let's see what else is going on. Spirit, give me what I need. I'm going to get a few more. Ooh. Let's see what else. You know, one thing I noticed that if you keep things in, if you hold things in, it doesn't do anything but fester. And when it festers, it comes out the wrong way. Yeah, so speak up, be brave, and be honest. That's what Spirit is telling you today. Like, speak up. All right, so look at here. All right, you have disruption. Okay, this could be good, it could be bad. But with any disruption, what it does is it's clearing away. Okay, so I must. Okay, dis, we always look at one. We always look at things one way. Well, di disruption can be a new beginning for you, and this new beginning is causing a new, a major disruption in your life. Nothing is the same. Everything is changing. Okay, but this disruption is making way so you can move forward. So this, this this disruption, but it can also be if you're already, if you're not going through new beginnings, you might have disruption that's going to come towards you, okay? But what came out behind this card is love begins, okay? That's a part of this disruption being bringing new beginnings in your life, okay? This new, this disruption could be, could be, I'm seeing that this disruption is, it has something to do with, um, love. Okay. You might not be expecting this love, but this love is, is, is here. And that's why spirit wants you to be brave and honest. They want you to stand your ground and they want you to trust in higher forces. 
and just be, you know, pretty much be graceful in your movements when you're moving towards this new love. So, um, you could definitely uh, make the right decisions for your life. Meaning, not really make the right decisions, just make the right de decisions when it comes to this relationship and be yourself, be honest, and don't put on any airs because this new beginning, these, this love begins is something major, okay? And when I say major, it's gonna cause a disruption. It's gonna be something that you, you yes, you probably been waiting on it, but you didn't know it was gonna come this fast or you didn't know it's gonna come the way, you didn't know that the events that caused the disruption led up, was going to lead to this love begins. Okay. And this is truth. Mm -hmm. You have truth. This is the truth of the matter. Spirit wants you to be honest. Spirit wants you to be truthful. Okay. You might receive some truths when this person come in, but definitely they want you to speak your truth. They want you to stand your ground. Okay. Let's get a few more. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay, and with this disruption, I'm being honest, it's going to take some spiritual strength, all right? This is, you're at the end of a particular cycle in your life, and it might, you, you might, let me see, let me get this book. I do remember this card. I just want to make sure. Okay, so it's saying, let me see, spiritual strength. Okay. Um, so these readings again might be a little longer, but I just want you all to get the messages and I want you to get more from these daily messages. Okay. This card is coming forth to give you encouragement and to remind you that you have the inner strength to complete whatever you've been working on. The final spirit card represents courage, discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or weary from the struggle, but now is not the time to give up or give in. Instead, tap into all of your inner strength and your inner reserves for that one final push to achieve the desired outcome. You've been through so much to get to this point and even though you may have acquired some scars from the battle, you you are wiser. That's why that owl is here. That's telling you to trust in the unknown. See there? You got the wisdom. All right. You are wiser and stronger for it. The mountain, you're very firm. You got what it takes. Stand, stand firm. Stand strong. Okay. And it said the enlightenment you've gained will be an invaluable resource. You may also notice that you're experimenting with different things in your life at this time. All of these experiences feed your spirit and offer you knowledge for the future. That's the disruption. Okay, so right now, spirit is saying that you're at the, you're right here at it. <laughs> Don't give up. That's what I'm hearing. Don't give up, okay? So what you, the, the, your spiritual strength is right here, trusting in the unknown and using your wisdom when it comes to proceeding and getting to this next level. This is spiritual strength. Okay. This is the spirit of sin. It's going to take, you know, you have to, you right here at it. Okay. And this disruption is coming from you experimenting with, um, um, let's see with the different things in your life at this time. So right now you're trying to you if you're trying to figure out exactly okay, what's going to work for me? What's working for me? What's not working for me? Okay? So spirit wants you to know that this is definitely um this is definitely good for you. They want you to pay attention to your intuition. You might go through some financial um and material changes right now. You might be bored, you might be discontent, you might not you 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 trying you just trying to figure out like what in the world is going on i need some guidance i need somebody to come to you know speak some truth okay well seek it out seek it out because you have everything within you and spirit is, spirit will definitely give you the answers that you desire you definitely have hope okay you definitely have a lot of hope here definitely continue to have hope that don't ever give up on hope okay 
Okay, so this, this disruption, you got you got this disruption, and but this disruption is gonna, it's pretty much is telling you that this is the last of it, and love begins. Okay, you're gonna have a love. This is beautiful. Okay, it is. It's hard. Okay, and no one said it was gonna be be easy, and you got prosperity begins as well. Okay, you see prosperity begins. So with, with, with these these changes, you will triumph over this situation. Now, it might be now, it might be later. But for some of us who've been in the thick of it already, this is saying that you're at the you right here at it. Do not give up, stand your ground, be honest, be patient. You know that that you know, patience. <laughs> Patience is a try. Listen, being patient is, is 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 really trying. All right, spirit, give me what I need. You're gonna triumph over this situation. You got prosperity begins and love begins. This is this is awesome. But you got to use your spiritual strength. You got to stand your ground. You got to use your wisdom. You got to trust in your higher forces. You got to be gentle in your movements. You got to definitely, pretty much. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? As far as your spirituality, so you will not mess up this vibe, okay? You got a you got a good vibe here, and they want you to breathe, okay? <laughs> um, listen and connect with your intuition. Breathe, okay? Meditate. If you don't, if if it's hard for you to meditate, everybody have different um, ways of meditating. I know my method is different. What I do is. I get a deep meditation when I listen to meditation music, okay? Meditation music, third eye music, I get, I, I, I definitely get a great um, meditation in when I am listening to that music. It helps me connect, and that's that's what I do. So each, like I say, each individual have their own method of meditation, so you have to figure out what works for you. Spirit, give me what I need. Mean. And they want you to walk your own journey. It's essential to stay on your own path at this time. People might be giving you advice. People probably just saying, oh, you should do it this way. Oh, you need to do this. Oh, you it's better if you go this route. Oh, you need to sign up for this. You need to go. Uh-uh. Do what you know to do for yourself, okay? Do what you walk your own path. You cannot walk this path or, or walk this journey for anyone else. Because what they want for your life may not be what you want. See, you right, you know exactly what you're aiming for, okay? Some people don't even have a clue what they're aiming for. and But you know exactly what you're aiming for. Right now, you're, you're definitely, um, it has something to do with prosperity and it has something to do with love, okay? And Spirit is letting you know that speak your truth, stay on your own journey. It's essential to stay on your own path. No matter what it takes, stand your ground. Do not deviate. Spirit is letting you know that you are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself. Okay? This is not the time to doubt yourself. Believe in yourself and, sp and spend some time with yourself so you can ground yourself. Balance yourself. Balance yourself so you can... It doesn't matter, what you, it doesn't matter what's going on or what, what the situation is. Balance yourself. Meditate. Write journal, listen to music, burn some incense, do whatever you have to do to keep your energy right, okay? And balance yourself. Go outside of nature, okay? Connect with nature. Nothing is holding you back. And they want you to dissolve all attachments of the past because when this new love come in and this um and the prosperity that's going to come along with it, spirit definitely wants you to be able to spend some time on this new journey. Your new journey calls for you to detach from the past. And it is what it is. You got to let old people go. And they want you to be authentic. The way, your way is the only way for you. This is telling you again, you cannot walk, stay on your own. You got to look, walk your own journey. That's exactly what this is saying. You got to walk your own journey. Everybody has advice on what you're supposed to be doing, but you know exactly what you're doing. You know how you want it and you stick with that. Be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. You probably getting advice, people get in, in telling you to, like I said, do this, do that, do go this way, go that way. No, you stand firm. You stand your ground and use your wisdom in this, okay? 
And they're also letting you know that what does your heart want? Want. Be free to manifest your heart's desire. Period. <laughs> That's it. Spirit wants you to be free to manifest your heart's desire. Because if you uh if you don't manifest your heart's desire, you're gonna always be following someone that someone else's path. And right now, I do see what your heart's desire is, and it's been hard. Um, the card surrounding prosperity and this love begins. It's been hard. These are mountains, honey. It's been some disruptions. It is what it is. But that's okay. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay. So if you love animals, if you had an am animal that passed, Spirit is letting you know that your animal is taken care of in heaven and um being watched over by the angels and that is such good news i love animals you know i lost my i lost his name was yo-yo i lost yo-yo and um sometime when this card come and lets me know that he is around me i miss him so 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 much i do i do i choke up every time i think about him because he was so sweet y'all he was so 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 sweet everybody loved him because he was just like one of the boys. He was a pug bit. He was a pug mixed with a um. Was it a uh, what's them a chihuahua? Y'all, he was so pretty. He was so pretty. I'm gonna post this picture today on on the community site so you you all will see him. So this has something to do with your ancestors. Your ancestors are also around you. Okay, ancestors are letting you know they're around you. They're safe. Spirit is watching over them. And they're also around you, protecting you as well. Um, they, you know, I don't know how you all think about, you know, ancestors or whatever, but I do know for a fact they are around us all the time, okay? Including yo yo spirit. I know yo yo is around, okay? And I'm, I take comfort in that and know that, you know, <laughs> hey, this is confirmation right here, all right? And spirit wants you to definitely study. If it's anything that you need to learn right now, take this time to study. Ground yourself on whatever subject this is um, so you can learn it, so you can um, process it. Um, they will guide you and help you with this, okay? It's going to help your personal growth. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay, light worker, okay? It doesn't matter. You know, light worker is someone that... Um, Spirit said they need us right need us right now. Light workers are people that spread good news and spread light upon this this earth right now. And so many light workers are needed so we can propel some of these dark dark situations that we're going through in this um, in society right now. But you are a light worker, and Spirit wants you to just spread your light. Don't be afraid, okay? And even if you have to study to get more information, do that. Even if you need to ask your ancestors to guide you, let them do that, okay? Let them help you. Okay, they, they're there for you. And one way that you know your ancestors around ancestors are around is like you might see someone's birthday. You might hear grandma or grandfather's song. You might hear your mom's. You might see the fav their favorite colors, their favorite foods. It, it, that lets you know that they are communicating with you. Okay? Okay, and they say you deserve the best. Reach for the stars and don't compromise. That's you walking on walking your own journey. And stand on your path and being authentic, authentic because your way is the only way for you. That's exactly what this card is saying. Don't compromise. Do not compromise. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay, so you have some decisions to make, but Spirit is also letting you know that you're a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help um, awaken their spiritual gifts and their divine life mission. So, you know... I'm telling you, we, you know, we need more light workers out here. And this is telling you that you are a spiritual teacher and they want you to definitely dive into it. And you got some money coming to you. Okay. Your money is going to be great. Spirit is definitely speaking to you through your intuition. And they want you to just pay attention because you're definitely divinely protected. You're definitely divinely protected. And they want you to trust and they want you to just stand your ground and walk your own journey because you have been, um, your journey, what you've been wanting right now is love, prosperity. Pretty much you're probably wanting the truth about things, and it's here, okay? Spirit wants you to believe in yourself, all right? So let's see what's going on. Spirit, give me what I need.
Spirit wants you to be you. Oh my goodness. Spirit is pretty much saying somebody here, some, the message that I'm getting up, getting now is somebody is being influenced. You've been influenced and it, this influence is trying to take you off your journey. This influence is trying to get you to, this is not good energy when somebody is around you trying to influence you. You got to stand your ground. I don't know who this is for, but if you are around anyone that's trying to stop you from being you, you need to let this person go because your journey is your journey. And I believe it's somebody from the past, but because it said dissolve all um, attachments from the past. Okay. People are counting on you. Okay. Meaning you got things to do. Okay. Whether it's in this new relationship, this new family dynamic you're going to be in, people are counting on you. And there it is again, learn something new. And this card pop, popped out, it said no. So whoever this person is, they're not, they're, they're not um, supposed to go with you. They're not supposed to be in your life, okay? No, they're not supposed to be in your life. Eat some healthy foods, okay? It's time to take over, you know, get health is wealth. All right, eat some healthy food, foods. Even if the card doesn't come out, I'm gonna say it, drink some water. It's time to get start drinking water, cut back from these colorful drinks, and trying to time to get yourself together. Because you got some new beginnings here, and that and this and this beautiful. Spirit is saying you are loved. Okay. And spirit wants you to get back on track. Get back on track on you. Focus on you. You, 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 you. Okay. It doesn't matter what, what situation you're in or how it's going. Spirit wants you to focus on you to the point to where you're back, you're getting back on track to the point to where your your spiritual life and you're walking in bliss like you've been doing or you're walking in your path, okay? Get back on track on your path. Spirit wants you to learn to compromise. It's okay to compromise, but just don't compromise too much to where it takes you out your, out your zone. Give me a few more, Spirit. Okay, self-love. There you go. You see that? <laughs> self-love is solitude. Meaning take some time. Ground yourself. All right? Someone is saying they love your smile. It could be spirit. Spirit let you know they love your smile. Or you love somebody's smile. Uh-oh. Spirit wants you to expect miracles. Don't expect miracles next week. Don't expect miracles 15 minutes from now. 15 minutes from now. You expect miracles right now. Okay? expect miracles because you are definitely and if if you've been going through something expect miracles now you're more powerful than you know people do listen to you whether you believe it or not and you're very loyal okay you're gonna have a lot of loyalty in this relationship you're gonna have a lot of loyal loyal friends um you're definitely supposed to be inspiring others and spirit is just letting you know <laughs> It's, it's about you. This is about you. This is not about anyone else. Okay? I'm going to get a few more and we're going to go on to the major arcanas. Because you do have love begins. And Spirit is telling you, what does your heart want? Be free to manifest your heart desires. I already know what your heart desire, desires are. Well, some of y'all. And that's love. You It came out. Prosperity. You probably ready for an upgrade with your, with your uh, items. And prosperity just doesn't have anything to do with things. Prosperity is a, a well-being. Everything about your life is just flowing, okay? All right. And it say between now and six months, you will have success in this situation, okay? You will have success between now and six months. I want you to take these messages and definitely um, meditate on them. I want you to... <laughs> speak affirmations <clears throat> over these messages because, because expect miracles, okay? Expect miracles. Spirit, give me just the major arcanas now. We're going to get a few from the major arcanas and see what's going on. See what Spirit has to say. Spirit, give me what I need. You got the King of Cups. This is someone that, that has a lot of love in their heart. This is, um, they might not express it, but the King of Cups has a lot of love in their heart for you. Um, nurturing love, all right? Uh, this is a uh, water sign. Could be a water sign, all right? Spirit wants you to tap into your emotions. You see he's in this meditative form. 
that's what they want you to do. Meditate on this, uh, meditate on this love that you want. All right. You got the king of swords. This could be, this could be an air sign. This is somebody that's very intelligent. And as you meditate on this love, you're probably going to get some truth because this is truth, clarity, and this is intelligence. And you do have the truth card right here. I think it's under there. Yeah, you got the truth card that came out. So you're going to be getting some truth about this love that's coming towards you, okay? You got two kings here too. <laughs> Are you going to have options? Mm. This person is very, this can be an authority figure. What else, spirit? Hmm. It didn't flip over. Give me, what else, spirit? Okay, there we go. You got new beginnings. You see that? That's the Empress. This is Taurus. This is Libra, okay? This is new beginnings in all areas of your life. You're going to get some truth and clarity uh, about this new beginning, these new beginnings, and this love that's coming, okay? And you got the King of Wands. <laughs> this can be a fire sign, Okay, this fire sign uh, could be coming towards you, okay? Um, very passionate, go-getter. Definitely, you know, full of passion. Great with his wand, okay? You got three kings here. Wow. Spirit, give me what I need. You got three kings here and this empress. What else, spirit? All right. You got the hangman. This is suspended action. Okay, this is this action is being suspended. Um, the action is being suspended right now because it might be a few things that things that you need to clear, you know, clarify and clear up in your life before these new beginnings take place. This can be a um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I think they said the hangman was Pisces. I don't know, but. We're going to see, but just you suspend it right now, but you, you're not going to be suspended for long. Trust me. This is everything is going to come to fruition for you. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay. Told you. You're not going to, you're not going to be suspended for long because look at these horses. These horses are in motion. Mm -hmm. They, they on their way. <laughs> Told you you're not going to be suspended for long. This new beginning is coming. This is coming sooner than what you think. That's why spirit wants you to expect miracles and stand your ground ground yourself, continue to, to detach from the past, whatever it is that you need to detach from the past, detach from it. So you can definitely get the miracles that you desire. This can be another, um, this is cancer. What else spirit? This hermit energy, you know, you've probably been in this hermit energy suspended for a minute, but this hermit energy was good for you. It was good because you was getting downloads from spirit. You was definitely seeking out some knowledge. You was definitely getting everything that you need so you could prepare for it. And you will be propelling for it. So don't fret. Just be patient and know that everything is lining up for you. Spirit, give me what I need. And because look at here. <laughs> oh, two came out. Let's see what's behind here. Wow, you got the six of cups and you got the ace of cups. Okay, there go that love begins. You see that? And you got the six of cups. This can be, this is a past life love, okay? This could, might could be a reconciliation. This can have something to do with children, okay? But this is a past life love. This is a new love coming towards you because love begins. You got prosperity begins with it, okay? When it comes, and, and, and the disruption lets you know that and you know, I, <laughs> I am so against this statement, but I have to sit here and honestly say it's true. They say things get worse before it get better. I hate that, but it's the truth. Okay. But that's why spirit is calling on you to definitely trust in your spiritual strength. Trust in your spiritual strength. You're right here at it. You got the lovers. All right. You got the lovers. This is somebody who pretty much. Um, the, the, a decision has been made. Okay. A decision has been made for them to charge in, to come in with this love. So you can definitely, they've been seeking whoever this person is been seeking, trying to make sure they're making the right decision. They've been suspended. All right. But look at here. You got the queen of wands of the occult, beautiful, passionate. She got her black cat sitting right there. Mm -hmm. Spirit is letting you know that this person Who's coming towards you is very passionate. You're, and you're passionate about this person as well. This is twin flame. This is soulmate energy, okay? Twin flame soulmate energy. And spirit wants you to meditate on what does your heart want. Be very clear, okay? 
Write it down if that's what you have to do. Okay, you want this love. Okay, take the person out of it. Again, you could be, and I'm finna just say, you could be shitting yourself out of a, the best love of your life by sticking it to a person from the past. Like, leave the past alone. If they come back, good. If they don't, they don't. But you got the six of cups here. The six of cups is letting you know this is a past life love. This is this is something that's 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 good. It could be from another. It could be that y'all. It's just time for y'all to come together if you haven't. Okay, and you got the lovers. A, a decision has been made. Okay, you got the star. You got the star card, and you got the ace of wands. I love this energy. Okay, y'all. You all have new beginnings here. Trust in your intuition. Take charge of your life. Stand firm. Time for you to walk in your divine. If you, it's time for you to walk in your divine masculine or divine feminine energy. Okay, it is what it is. Because you got the emperor here, and you got the, uh, you got the emperor and the hierophant here with the ace of ace of swords. And judgment is here. So what you're doing is you're going through a rebirth right now, and spirit is definitely going to bless you with everything that you have. Definitely be putting your energy towards. It's time to reap the the benefits. Okay, um, what's that? Saturn has Saturn is going to be in retrograde for a while, and that's the um the planet of karma. If you've been putting good karma out, okay, great, <laughs> okay, and it looks like you have. Okay, so you got passion, you got love, you got prosperity. You got new beginnings. You got you got great energy here. Okay. Expect miracles between now and six months. All right. If it's time for you to inspire other spirit, want you to want you to dive into it. They want you to study. They want you to make sure that you get grounded in this knowledge. Because right now, light workers and spiritual teachers are needed. Definitely dig deeper. You can do this. Start your channel. Create your website. Start your Patreon, do whatever you're supposed to do because you got great things here. Prosperity is yours. As long as your spirit is letting you know, it's just to stand your ground, be yourself, be authentic, and dissolve attachments from the past. All right? This past energy can't go with you. I don't care if you think that this person deserve it. They don't. All right, you're gonna triumph over this situation. Use your wisdom. Use your wisdom in this situation. Use your wisdom. Stand your ground. Do not let anyone deviate you from your path because your path involves love. It involves you being um, a leader. <laughs> it involves you um, having prosperity and passion in your life. And that passion goes for love and it goes for your your uh, new endeavor or your your spiritual calling. Okay, guys, I love you, and I'm sorry if it took a little longer, but that's just the way it's going to be. Talk to you soon. Bye.